Hi, I'm Joe Kowalski, the retaining wall expert. Today we're going to discuss water and the damage water can do to a retaining wall if the water is not collected and removed properly. All walls are designed to collect and remove water that might get behind the retaining wall. Today we're going to look at a wall that was designed correctly but the amount of water that got behind the wall was just too much and the wall failed in two spots. We're going to show you how much water got behind the wall and why it failed. It's very important to collect and remove water behind the retaining walls. Let's go take a look. Hi, what we're looking at today is a retaining wall in Dayton, Ohio. This retaining wall was designed and constructed using a block called Cornerstone. It's a segmental retaining wall, which means that each block is independent. There's gravel behind the wall and there's geogrids going back. Here's a view along the top of the wall. You can see that most of the wall is in really good shape. This close end obviously had a significant failure that will cost several thousand dollars to repair. We have water flow. We're going to put the pipe, the hose, right into the downspout. And we're going to go down here and take a look and see what the downspout shows. However you want to define it, we have success or failure. We've confirmed that the water from that building is being dumped into the back side of this retaining wall, which directly caused this big mess. Let's check the other end of the wall and see if there's a pipe down there that might be causing the same problem. And let's confirm that along the segment of the wall that it's not failed that there are not pipes dumping water in here. We're at the other end of the wall now. Where I'm standing, there's a pipe that drains directly into the wall. You'll notice this section of wall is curved, bulge, and it's overturning. It's going to look like that end of the wall in a short time, provided that the water continues to be diverted into that area. We've recommended to the owner that they reconstruct the upper part of the wall, they reconstruct the ends of the wall, and that they take this water in solid pipes and discharge it around the ends of the wall in front of the wall. Today we talked about the importance of collecting and removing water from behind retaining walls. Retaining walls are designed to handle some water that gets behind them. They are not designed to be able to handle the amount of water generated by the roof of a building or a home. That's too much water and the retaining walls will fall over if those downspouts are deposited and discharged directly behind a wall. That's your tip for the day. I'm Joe Kowalski, the retaining wall expert.